Uh, thank you very much. Uh, great to be back. I uh, haven't been for ages. Um, it's great to see familiar faces. Uh, and also, don't forget to thank your organisers. They do lots of work, which is uh, often not seen. Um, I'm just going to talk very quickly about a little bit of code I wrote, which may or may not be useful to other people. Um, um, for those who don't know me, um, I used to be around. Um, I moved out of London to Cornwall. That's the end of my village. Um, you have to be careful not to fall off into the sea. Um, I run Algorithmic Art, which meets in London and Cornwall. I've started a data science Cornwall group in Cornwall, which is uh, growing slowly. There's not many people there. Um, and Code de Dejo Cornwall is um, for kids, and that's quite fun. Um, <clears throat> so um, the, 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 the kind of the itch I wanted to scratch was um, I, want, I use Python, obviously. Um, I use notebooks, which are lovely. Uh, they weren't around when I started because I'm quite old. Um, and it's great to visualize things in, in, in the notebook. But I wanted to visualize things that are related, like graphs, um, sort of entities that have relationships. And the traditional libraries like Matplotlib didn't seem to have any, um, any answer. I wanted these graphs to be interactive um, so that I could zoom in or move things around. Um, and I couldn't find anything. There's things like D3, uh, but it didn't immediately work in the notebook. So I went searching, couldn't find anything. Um, <clears throat> something called Network X popped up on my Google searches, uh, and it does you know, work with graph data, um, and it does plot charts, including in, in a notebook, but they're static, um, and they're not particularly pretty. And you can see that if I have lots of data, it's going to be overwhelming and saturated, so you don't really understand um, what's really going on. Um, so I thought, OK, maybe I'll try writing something myself. What I wanted to do was make it simple. So easy things, simple, other stuff optional. Um, this is Network X again, showing um, a graph output up there. And there's lots more code than that's shown than, than, than is shown on the screen. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to just have a data frame like that. Um, things related to other things, you know, left hand column, right hand column, uh, maybe a weight to show the strength of the connection. And I just wanted something that just plot that data, just just draw lines between those entities. Um, so I wrote something. Um, I, I'm not a professional programmer, but it was actually quite easy. I, I think there's only about 20, 30 lines of code. Um, when I say easy, I wanted it to be as easy as importing a module and then calling a function, passing it to the data frame, and for it to just, just, just plot the damn thing. Sorry for the language. Uh, and it is as easy as that. Um, there's um, there's, there's a, a, a notebook showing import, a little instruction there to create a data frame. Um, I'm printing the data frame so you can see how easy it is. Let me show you it um, in action. <clears throat> this is in, um, in Colab, so it works in Google as well, not just uh, a norm, you know, um, locally installed. So I'm importing it. You can do a pip install, and it works in Colab as well if you're, if you're using that. Import the library and plot it. There you go. And you can grab these things and, and move them around if I can get my pointer to work. Whee! Um, <laughs> I've got a, a slightly more interesting example here where I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a corpus of text, um, recipes that's sort of artificially constructed, and I'm just building um, a, 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 a pandas data frame showing the co-occurrence of words, and you can, you can see more easily uh, which words are um, connected. There you go, if I double click on something, hopefully it'll move the center. Um, so what I really wanted to say is, um, th this is there. Um, it was quite easy to um, do. Um, uh, a notebook is a sort of a web page. You run Python. Um, Python itself can construct HTML, and you can render HTML, including JavaScript, in an output cell. So once you understand that, it's not too difficult. There are a few options. You know, it wasn't a, you know, there, there is a simple path. But you can do things like you know change the length of the of the links and increase the size of the nodes and so on if your you know data is sparse or if you've got lots of it. Um, so um, I just want you to make you aware of that. Um, I'm not aware of any other tools that work as easily as that in in the notebook. Um, if you find it useful, if you don't find it useful, uh, let me know um, and um, maybe we can improve it. Um, thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs>